everybody so today I'm going to be showing you how I made these super cute painted mason jars it was a super easy fun and for me I made it a relatively cheap craft project I'm going to show you all the supplies that I used and how I did it step by step I'm sure you could find a place to put these in your house they are so adorable I made them for my kitchen, my bathroom, and for my makeup area. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, you're going to need mason jars. You can choose any size or shape that you would like. And they are sold individually at craft stores or by the case at uh, Target and um, Michael's as well. I picked up this paint at Walmart. It was 50 cents a bottle. They were two for a dollar. And this is just a fast drying acrylic matte paint. I've seen a lot of people using chalk paint for this project and it turns out just as cute. And second I got those um, sponge paint brushes for 97 cents, some old newspaper from the mailbox, and sandpaper. You don't need this much sandpaper but I actually picked up this whole pack of 12 sheets for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and I'm sure I c will use all of it eventually. Next, you want to start by removing the lids to all of the mason jars. And at this point, I was just kind of deciding what color I wanted for what size. The, I chose for my kitchen the colors that go best in my kitchen. And the smaller ones I was placing in my bathroom, so I just chose colors that went with my bathroom. And I started out by painting the rim. I painted a little bit on the inside, not necessary, but paint the, uh, the edges, the rim, and then the easiest way to do it was to just set it down, um, open side down, and paint around that way. And I did that with each jar, painted the rims, sat them down, and then painted the sides. I think if I could go back and change anything, it would be the paintbrush. This paintbrush was kind of a pain in the butt, and because it's a sponge, it absorbs a lot of paint, and it was kind of hard to distribute around the jar, but all in all, it turned out fine. And like I said, I got four for 97 cents, so I, I can't complain too much about that. So I went ahead and let these dry overnight. It wasn't necessary, but it was late when I started this project. This paint that I have is a fast drying matte, so I probably would have only had to wait an hour or hour and a half before I could have went and, and touched it up and put on a second coat. Not all of them needed a second coat. As you can see with the light shining on them, there's some transparencies, some places that I missed. So basically I just went back through and touched up those areas. I didn't do a full second coat. I just went and touched up those spots and they turned out looking great. And this is what they look like with the second coat or the touch up coat. And I think they turned out awesome. Now a step that I am skipping here and I recommend for most of you is that um, a lot of the pins and, and different websites that I've seen this on, they added a top coat, a clear coat or a wax coat. I do recommend that you do that after you finish this next step. And the next step is just to take your sandpaper in small pieces. And the first part for me was that when I set them down on the newspaper, I got some of the newspaper back onto the jar when the paint dried. So I just went around the edges here and scuffed off all of that newspaper residue to make them look nice and clean. It also makes it a little bit easier to put the lids back on once you kind of scuff the edges up a little bit. That way the 
the the lid doesn't catch on the paint and I just basically went around the entire jars with the newspaper and if you rub the newspaper where you know the underneath lettering is the raised lettering where it would say Kerr or Ball or Mason it reveals the lettering um, once you use the sandpaper on it and the sandpaper there's no right way there's no wrong way you can't do too much or too little it's simply your preference um, let your you know your creativity juices flow and I don't think that you could really mess this up I had a lot of fun doing it and my I just went back and put the um, metal rings back on I did see a lot of different of these mason jar projects where they got super creative with it and did you know burlap or twine ribbon tied bows around the edges I'm simply just going to put the rings back on and for these that are going to go in my kitchen window I got these flowers at the Dollar Tree a dollar a piece so those three are going to go in my window this one the blue one is going to go in my closet with my makeup brushes and these two next to my bathroom sink so these are going to look so cute next to my faucet. I had a lot of fun with this project and like I said, you want to go back over and do a clear coat once you have finished scuffing it with the sandpaper. This is also a super cheap project for me and a way to kind of, you know, brighten my house up for the spring. So I hope everybody enjoyed. If anybody has any questions about where I got any of the products or if I wasn't clear about any of the steps, please go ahead and comment them down below. And if you yourself do this project, I would love to see photos of it. So thank you so much for watching.